Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are playing a Selesnya deck that's not Selesnya enchantments. Oh my god, is such a thing even possible? Yes. So here it is, Selesnya Ramp, where we are basically taking a mono green ramp deck and intercutting it with uh, board wipes. <laughs> is this going to be a fun deck? Yes. Stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to a commonly good MTG. I am your host, a man who spent 12 years at Upstairs Hollywood Magic the Gathering School to earn my PhD, Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film for a live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub. Uh, oh, please don't tell me everything just locked up. There we go. Called uh, Celestia Ramp by Janita. By Janita. I'm not sure. There's no U after it. It's not Wanita. It should be. could be Yanita. I don't know. I don't know, man. But uh, I'm going to call it Janita for now. And... Uh, one thing I got to say before we get to the deck is, yeah, I know I play instance at the wrong time, but suck it, people. I can do whatever I want. This is my game. If you want to play it differently, play it differently. All right, so suck it. All right, here we go. So what do we got today? What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards in this deck. Then we'll talk a little bit about how this deck should work, and then we'll go out and we'll crush some hopes and dreams. All right, what do we got? We got, uh, well, it's ramp, right? Ramp, 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 ramp. We got Glimpse the Core, which goes and gets you a forest. Up the Beanstalk, which draws you a card when you play something bigger than five. We got some bigger than five guys, or five or bigger, I'd say. Iron Crag, which is uh, colorless mana. You can put it onto something that is uh, legendary, but we don't really have any legendary guys. Even Tyrannix is not legendary. Okay. A dinosaur that doesn't do anything until you have seven mana in play. Um... Seven or more lands. And other than that, he just goes and gets you a basic land. Celestis is axes of land and helps you do some card draw. Invasion is in card gets you two basic lands. Blossoming Tortoise lets you mill three cards and return a land from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. And then your land abilities cost one last. And land creatures, which you don't have any, get plus one, plus one. Yeah, this could totally use the, the Dryad land cards. Uh, yeah, so that's it. We got ramp. Ramp, 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 ramp. And then what do we do? Board wipe. We got Sunfall, which we just exile all creatures. No, no protection will help them out. They are gone. And then you get a Pod Baby, which is equal to its plus one plus one's ability is equal to the number of creatures exiled. For well, as you get rid of everything except for battles and planeswalkers, artifacts, creatures, enchantments, graveyards, gone. They are exiled forever. There's just one in there, but yeah, there's one. So you got five, right? Uh, who's our heavy hitters? Titan of Industry. Tyrannus Rex and Nissa, who puts out Brexian Horror Babies equal to her loyalty. And she'll plus one when she's doing it, so it'll be equal to her loyalty plus one, right? You can also use her to destroy artifacts and enchantments. So does Farewell. Um, so does Titan of Industry. So that means we can go up against other Selesnya enchantment decks fairly well. She's also a bomb. So you can throw out full price, use her for her full seven, and then <clears throat> all your creatures get plus one, plus one for each forest you control and trample. So you got a few creatures, you got a bunch of forests out. How many forests? We have six, potentially. That's the most it could be. So you could potentially put plus six on everything with trample and just go into nut nutty town. We put out some uh, mites, uh, and that's about it. This one gets rid of enchantments. This one gets in. Is it artifacts too? Yep. And this one uh, does four damage to target attacking block creature. All right, so that's it. Um, what are we going to do with this deck? We're going to ramp like crazy. We'll let them get a few hits in. We'll board wipe, cleaning the board, and eventually put out some dudes that hopefully they can't deal with. We got the ability to take out enchantments and artifacts, so we'll use that to the best of our abilities. All right, that's it. Now, before we go out and do our damage, let's talk. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Dear... Black King talks roll. 
who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart. Please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. Fire plan against Miza. Mithriza. Maybe that's it. Keep. All right, let's see. One, two, three. Comes to the four. Let's just go get some lands. It'll be a forest. We're ramping, baby. I can skip over Topiary Stomper. Well, there we go then. Do I really need it? Let's see. I'll get us one. This is two more. It's three on top of that. Let's do it. It's fine. I was just saying, we can get rid of Topiary Stomper. All right, this puts us up to six. Unfortunately, put out Titan of Industry. He's going to be able to destroy, but we won't be able to exile. So we get ourselves a nice little shield on this guy. Ah, right, there we go. Not we'll the blast through it. <clears throat> Let's start off with a little action here. Let's go for his throat. Straight up, baby. Ah, that was probably a mistake. And we lost our lost our little love there, huh? All right, we got lots of land. This guy said hello. I don't really care to say anything back at the moment. There's destruction. All right, I need to I need to do some board wipes and grow some creatures again is what I need to do. There we go. And we're done. I'll pop in just before our friend's next turn or his turn's over. Oh, sweet googly moogly. You're going to give it up? Now that you're fighting somebody big enough to fight back? No, you're going to be a biatch about it, huh? I might as well. I think we're toast. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna get out of this. Another another board wipe. Oh, there we go. Is that all I have to say? Go, go, go. Down to six. Wipe the board. And to pair to execute on his turn. I just got two cards, so hopefully they suck. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Hasty 8-8. Eight, eight. Alright, all for the throat, baby. What you got there? Like, go for the throat? They can't go against artifacts? Yeah. Oh, you do that one, huh? Alright, got him down to one. I got no cards. He's got two. 
Oh, the humanity. Uh, I was going to say, another Tyrannix would be really awesome right now. I was racing the clock. Hopefully, he doesn't get anything worth drawing. Oh, he keeps going for it. There right, we go. Haste. Oh, attack. Oh, let's, oh, let's look over there. <laughs> Victory! Alright, we are playing against Jericho, 1717. We'll play this slow because we have nothing to do on turn one. Up oh, the beanstalk. There's a pain land. All right, number three. All right, we're going to be farewelling like crazy here once we get to six. All right, there's four. Five, next turn is six. They're all dead, so I don't care if I have to block the Blossoming Tortoise. Doesn't really matter. All right, the stars at night are big and bright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven gets us into a titan of industry. With the rhino. Do I want to take that guy's damage? Okay, let's just do shield counter and destroy that guy. Yep. The other option would be to take the life and put that guy out without a shield on him. I feel like at least this protects from direct destroy attacks from mono black. It's not a legendary. Oh, that guy's gone. Ah, uh, I'm Craig. And we're done. Well, we're getting a lot of sock here, aren't we? All right, drawing at least. All right, all I can really do is pop the little 1-1 one, one into play on his turn. I can wait. Looks like it's time to sunfall again. And we drew some more cards. They all blow. All right, in we go. We'll pop out the three on next turn.
Let's see who this guy decides to block. Block one, block one, block one. And there we go. And this, uh, people price. There we go, that's a good one. And pop out a baby. All right, let's Rhino up. Let's give ourselves some life. Can I play full price for Nissa? Looks like it, I'm assuming. Nope, I can't. I'll wait till next turn. I'll be fine. I'm going to put a land out. Nothing, nothing. I already did. All right, down to 10. Put another beanstalk out just because drawing cards is fun. All right, if things get nasty, Sunfall's our friend. Discard a card, huh? Glimpse of core. All right, 10 and 11, he's taking advantage again. Got nothing in your hands. Those guys are just going to die. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Tyrannus Rex. And we win! In your face, Jericho. Victory. All right, I'm against Lurch Slayer. Lurch Slayer. All right, lots of stuff. Sunfall. It's a good hand. It's a good hand. Nothing going on for quite a while, though. Well, I did not intend that. I just I keep grabbing cards and then other cards jump in the way it feels like. Hit a C3PO. Two. Alright, so we're playing against uh Sluzzy Enchantments then. All right, there's four. I need to put him, have him put out everything he's got so we can sunfall it. And we can definitely sunfall in this next turn. I don't think it's worth it though. He's not gonna even got a guy this turn. It doesn't really matter. He doesn't have anything that counters. All right, so up the beanstalk. Glimpse the core. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to get one more land before we can tighten the industry, but we're gonna be blowing away the battlefield wall before then. Once again, he's not getting guys. He's just gonna do the card draw out of wedding announcement.
Technically, I know. Oh, man, really? Let's just hope we get... Yeah, we get it from a glowing tortoise. There we go. Let's just do that. We just got it right there. All right, let's just sunfall it. Uh, he, do you think he's got more of those tricks? We're going to sunfall again. Maybe he thinks that's the only time we're going to do it. Block. All right, you got lots of mana. Put some stuff out, man. That's crazy. He's just also finally crazy. He's giving up on it. All right, let's sunfall. And a topiary stomper. There you go, at least he has something he can occupy at this situation. Ooh, I got the ability to disenchant stuff at this, huh? All right, go and pick your next land. I mean, I could always brought something back, but what could I brought back? A Topri Stomper? Eh. And we win the game. In your face, Charlie Brown. Victory. All right, we're playing against Dermernek. Dermernek. Keep. What are we doing here? Land. More or less land. Get ourselves some more land and Titan of Industry. Why does Frodo, why is, why is uh, Sam there riding your back like he's Yoda? You're not fooling anybody. On red. Unless we get a board wipe, we're not going to do very well against mono red. We're going to take way too long. Two. Three, we get a Celestis. You just gotta take these hits. We'll have what? Five, six, seven. We got two turns until we get out Titan of Industry. He's only got two mana.
For more than enough white, let's just green up like crazy. One, two. I'm gonna have to give myself a hot injection of pure life here in a second. We're down to four. Tight tan of industry comes into play. Five life. And rhino creature. All right, we got some blockers. We got some defense here. Nice board wiper, another Titan of Industry would be super cool. At least two dudes are getting through. They all kind of suck. Let's just kill these guys. Surprise, what is he not playing in his hand, man? Why does he have any like monstrous whatever it is? Alright, something good. Uh discard a card, glimpse of core. That's what we're getting rid of there. Alright, we're our topiary stomper. Topiary Stomper. Ooh, I took that hit. Yeah, let's just go. Cause we go ahead and build we can we can block build on. We can block something else he could put out. We'll be taking one at least. We just gotta worry about getting shot in the face. Being alive, we went back up to five. You know what I like, Celestis, and that's your gooey, gooey life. Someday soon, we won't have Celestis anymore. Yeah, I don't care about that. All right, I got two blockers. That means that he'll be able to pick two cards, but hopefully it's not two lightning strikes. But look at it, Invasion of Zendikar. It's doing nothing, man. You could pop open one of your guys there. You know, one of your man lands. I would block it still. Alright, what's he open for? I mean, he can't shoot me for four. Way to pull another land. And if you got another shot to the face in your hand, that would be the weirdest. What? Whatever, man. Whatever. All right, playing against Yugis Bet Tur. Keep. All 
I'm going to put out white just so I can start diversifying my portfolio. These things are going to require me to... Oh, wait. Those are beanstalks. I thought they were the forest getters. All right, Celestis, which means that Sunfall is going to be our biggest friend here. Three mana, you're going to flood the board. I got to get to seven before I can play Tyrannus Rex. Come on, one more. No, I'm going to put out the Blossoming Tortoise. I think we can bait him into putting a couple other cards out. Let's do Mirix. That's fine. Blossoming Tortoise. Oh, no lands. One, two, three, four, five. Here's six. Cool. Cool. Which means we'll try again here in a second. And I hate it when we have to get down this low. Alright, Sunfall! Yoink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're good for Tyrannus Rex. I'm so close to death, I gotta play it defensively. Let's just let it go. I might need more land. Let's just get rid of that. Alright, so basically we're baiting him into a trap where I'll be using the pod baby to kill Adeline. Damn it. Still putting the pod baby out. Oh, I took it down, man. That is rough. Right, he's down to whatever he has in his hands there. Nice. That's a hot beef injection if I ever saw one. I just gotta make it the next turn so I can get myself one of those steroidal shots from the Titan of Industry. He could do one point of damage to me. And there's two. Sweet God, how did that happen? <laughs> how did that stupid happen? There is zero reason for it. I've right, been against Airweb Airwebski. Keep. Dragons go night night. All right, two gets us into a. That's ah, not Celeste this time. It's glimpse the four time. I like how they say it's got to be a forest. I guess there's other forests out there that aren't just forests. But if I've got only forest forests, then why not just you know do it automatically there, my friend? All right, uh, let's do that. I'm going to say Topiary Stomper, he's not going to be active for a while. Putting him out as a target just makes him 
vulnerable. So we've got five. This is going to guarantee us Titan of Industry on the next turn. What is this guy playing, by the way? Just white. Angels, huh? I was hoping to be able to get rid of the Steel Sereth, but we only have to get rid of one of these Steel Sereths. That's not the greatest. It's not enough to gain enough life. And a land. Great. Let's go crack that open. All right, pull more land there. All right, we got Nissa. Nissa's putting out babies that are pretty nice. These guys are only three threes at the moment. Ours are all way stronger than that. If I was him, I'd just go after Nissa's butt with both those dudes right now. He's going for the full power, trying to put out babies. That's the eight. It takes the killer. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. We're good. Ah, let's just get rid of this. I'd rather do that. Eh. Let's make a decision here. All right, we can kill. Steal Sarah. That's who we can kill. And let's just put out a nice rhino. We just, yeah, let's do that. Go Fury Stomper. Yeah, absolutely. Do we need to start playing Titan of Industry on the defense? I tell you, man, if you try to come in with a Splendid Angel, I will rip its wings off. Another one! Let's just put out the bomb. And we win! Suck it, sucker fish! All right, here we are playing with Selesnia Ramp. Uh, this was an incredibly fun deck, in my opinion. Super fun. Uh, not so much. It's not good at closing the, uh, closing the game. But still, it's a fun game up until that point. Like, my big problem with, with Mono Green is that people usually outrace you. <laughs> Eventually, you try to get your way into Tyrannic's Titan of Industry. You know, just 
come at them with big creatures for trample. But uh, then they wipe the board or something, and you're done. You can't do anything about it. This is a great deck just because you got the Sunfalls and the Farewells. So that way you can do the board wiping. You're the one that's wiping the board, starting it clean, and coming after people. Is there anything this deck doesn't have is quite enough life gain? I mean, you've got Celestis, which gives you like one per turn, and Titan of Industry that it can inject you with five. But it's just like, it's not, it's not quite enough. It just, there's, with Aggro coming at you, with Esper coming, you know, and controlling everything, I'm not sure you can really do much about Esper, really. But um, yeah, the Aggro's, which you got big problems with, and you need more life gain. And so I feel like this deck's maybe got a little too much ramp and not enough life gain in there. Just, you know, four cards flipped around to something else. And I think we're good. Like, Up the Beanstalk is a good card. I'm not sure we need four of them. I mean, you, need, you want to get to it. So, you know, but it's like you could definitely afford to lose maybe two of that. And Glimpse, the core, it's another one where... You know, it's great early on, but then later on, it's just such a turd in your hand because who cares, right? So uh, there you go. That's my opinion on it. Let's talk about who's the MVP, who's the most valuable player. And it to me, this for this deck, it's the board wipes. It's like Sunfall is practically my favorite card in this deck because of the fact that it wipes the board and it gives you a dude equal to the number of exiled creatures, right? And uh, so therefore it takes whatever the game is and turns it into, a, it restarts it and makes it to where you've got a guy and they don't. Now, of course, you have to pay two to get that guy out and you've lost whatever life you have up until that point. But Sunfall to me is the MVP of this particular deck. It's really the the engine that makes it work. So hopefully you, you, tear, you pump them down. They can't do much about it. And you can just start pumping out Titan of Industry, Tyrannics, Nyssa, you know, still, there's a big jump to go from five to seven, which is what these other guys take. But uh, no, it's only two. You know, Vision and Zendikar can usually help you out with that. All right, so there you go, Sunfall. You are our MVP, our most valuable player. Let's get to competitiveness. Is this a competitive deck? 50%, man. This is a 50% deck. It's just barely enough to make it worth playing. I mean... <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe it's where I'm going at. It's just my biggest problems with anything that was mono, right? Mono colored means aggro generally. And uh, that's where I had my problems because those things were faster and usually they'd be beating me down before I got around to even put a tortoise out. And even then, I only got two of them. You know, Torberry Stomper is pretty cool, other than the fact that that dude does, can't even do anything until you got seven lands in place. So, uh, and he doesn't count Celestis and Iron, Iron Crag. None of that stuff matters there. So anyways, um, yeah, it's it's a little slow. It's a little slow. But you're ramping, and you're ramping towards Sunfall or Farewell so you can blow it away and then get your dudes out. It's got some stuff going on. But yeah, it's it's a 50% deck. All right, was this deck uh, fun? Yeah, totes, totes. It was really fun. I really liked it. It was definitely a deck for me. Um, yeah, it took what was bad about Mono Green, and it... it basically fixed it by doing it with Sunfall Farewell. We got lots of ramp ahead of time. All that one, two, three is all ramp, 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 ramp. So hopefully by turn, you know, four, five, we're blowing away the board. And then by turn five, six, we're putting out the big dudes that they can't hopefully deal with. The only thing I think might be good for this deck also was the, the ones that put out the little land nymphs. We got lots of mana, lots of mana, and we don't really have a lot to do with it. We only need seven. Yeah, we're easily getting into like 12 territory all the time. It might be some good way to find some sort of X thing we could do. Um, you know, to just either give ourselves a bunch of life or to put out a bunch of little tiny land guys. Because that's even better because then those guys provide you with more, more mana potentially. I, I think they might really help out this deck big time. All right, so, uh, let's see. Lastly, was this deck interesting? Yeah, you know, to me it was interesting because I don't, you know, usually see Selesnya, it is Selesnya Enchantments. This is not Selesnya Enchantments. Uh, it's really a mono green ramp with board wipes. And I thought that was cool. I mean, it's not like it's unheard of. And you can put board wipes in pretty much anything and it still works pretty good. I thought that it helped a lot. I liked it. Uh, are there any new cards in here? Anything that twists anything around? Not really. Uh, do we even have anything from Lost Caverns in here? I think we got Glimpse of the Core. I think that's about it. We got Caverns of Souls. 
which helps you to keep your call it makes your cards can't be uh countered if you play dinosaur for tyrannics or elemental or titan of industry do we even have any other creatures we worry about not really there's dinosaur there there's a turtle dinosaur and an elemental all right so as far as it being interesting it's interesting because it's not meta you're not seeing this this deck played a lot i think it's great because of that not like there's new cards not because we haven't i mean have we seen this in the past it, not often not often at all i thought it was a new interesting deck that way all right so let's add that up is this deck competitive not really is this deck fun absolutely is it interesting in the fact that it's not something that's high on the meta list but still a good deck to play yeah absolutely so I'm going to give this deck, I'm going to give it an A-. And the reason why is because I think it's worth playing. I think it actually can be tinkered with a little bit more to make it into a very solid deck. And uh, I think we can get this above 50%. You know, it's probably not going to be above 60 63%. But uh, still, it's a fun deck and it's worth putting some time into. So A-. minus. All right, so if you decide to play with this deck, I hope that you have as much fun as I did. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the underground secret headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.